An Introduction to Magnets by kscience.com. This here is a magnet, and this is the north pole of the magnet, and this is the south pole of the magnet. The direction of the field lines show the direction that a north pole would feel if it was in that field. What I'm drawing here is the magnetic field surrounding the magnet. So the magnetic field of the magnet is represented by magnetic field lines. These are imaginary lines. The poles are where the magnetic fields are at its strongest. So at the north and south pole is where the magnetic field is strongest. These are the magnetic field lines around the bar magnet. So inside a compass, like the one here, you can see a bar magnet, whereby it's got a north pole and a south pole. So if you place the compass inside the magnetic field of another magnet, the compass will point away from north towards south in the direction of the magnetic field lines. So if you place a compass into a magnetic field of a magnet, you can see the direction of the magnetic field lines. It's because the compass will point away from north towards south in the direction of the magnetic field lines. So as you can see here, the compass will always point towards south of the magnetic field line in the magnetic field that the compass is in. So the compass points in the direction of the magnetic field it's in. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. What I'm drawing here are two bar magnets with north poles facing one another. And what I'm drawing here are the magnetic field lines that are showing repulsion. So as you can see, the magnetic field between two like poles are going to repel. So the two north poles here are repelling each other. So the magnetic field between two like poles repel. What we've got here is a north and south pole facing one another. So you've got the magnetic field lines that go from north to south and they attract. So the north and south poles are going to attract. So unlike poles attract one another. So these are the magnetic field lines of two magnets with unlike poles facing one another. So the magnetic field between two unlike poles attract each other. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.